But then we turn it over to the insiders, mm-hmm. and and why did they do it from from their you know their value system, their beliefs? And the first woman says, "Well, I know my friend has a very hard life, and I know she's busy, and I know her; she's got a heavy teaching load." So I don't want to say, "Oh, everything's great with me," because if I did, it'll make her feel bad. Okay. And her friend mirrored the same thing. Uh-huh. She said the exact same thing that you know. I know she's got a hard life, and I know her. You know, her husband doesn't help a lot. And uh-huh. I, know, I know she's got all this stuff to do. So again, if I if I said, "Oh, I'm fine," it's going to make her feel bad. So it comes out that it's not just this empty complaint. What it is is they're taking care of each other, huh. and they're making sure that by by expressing what they did on the weekend is is helping that person to feel better it's showing empathy and showing sympathy that you know we're in this hard life together and I was just shocked by this you know I I, whenever I do through teaching culture I've been doing this for years this is the one moment where really the the blinds were lifted on all of my stereotypes just like that because here I see that this can probably be extended to many other stereotypes that I have about this culture or other cultures that here this thing I've seen that I automatically judged as negative and dark is actually super caring and super deep and warm, Mm -hmm. Um, which was a big moment for me. Mm -hmm. So this is what we get from box number two, from box number three. Uh We can then talk about other cultures. I mean, I could talk about my time in Japan, my time in Taiwan and how they had reacted the other students, the other the other students in the room, could share what they have seen, and they have a lot of experience in, in European countries and in the Caucasus and things like that. Mm-hmm. So we could we could talk about other cultures and maybe what this means for those cultures. If they saw something strange in a, in another culture's greetings, maybe we can try to lift the blinds on those just through these discussions we were having. After box number three, we move to box number four. We talk about, you know, how, how do I feel now that I've, I've had this realization? You know, and I was very forthcoming that I, my mind was blown. And I, I had a, just a, from that moment, I had a different view of the people I was working with and the country I was living in. I'm glad this happened very soon after, after coming to Russia. Yeah, yeah, you know, it didn't, it didn't <laughs> happen in the last two weeks. It happened very early for me. Um, and then also things like, what, do you, what more do you need to know? So what questions do I have? But a uh, question for you, Andy. Um, you had a big realization, but yeah. everyone else was from Russia. So, did any of them also have? Great question. Uh, Absolutely, they did. Yeah. Um, a lot of them, as they were watching this, and then they heard me explain how it, how it looked like from the outside. They found themselves agreeing with me. They're like, "Yeah, no," and they hadn't seen that before because it's their greeting. It's their. It's something that's natural to them. It's just part mm. of their dialogue, and they'd never seen it. Um, you know, kind of judged from the outside and they could see, oh, wow, maybe we do sound a little dark. Maybe it does sound like we complain a lot. But through the paired discussions and through the discussions on the insider's perspective, they all agreed that this is this is a thing they do to take care of the other person. So it, it reaffirmed that this is a sympathetic thing and it is a, it's a kind of a heartwarming thing. And actually, I think it ended up, because they could articulate it for the first time, because it, nobody's talked about their greetings before. They've articulated for the first time that they end up coming out with, you know, a deeper understanding of their own culture, but some sort of pride. Uh-huh. You know, that, 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 they're, that what they're doing in their culture is an expression of, um, of warmth and caring and not, you know, what maybe the outsiders think of them. So they came out, I think, in a better place and a better understanding, which hopefully we can apply to other cultures moving forward. Yeah, that sounds really good. I have um, just one more question. I know we've been talking for a while. Um, In a lesson like this where it's just discussion, how do you assess if the lesson's been successful? I think, for one, because this is critical thinking, Mm -hmm. because we're, we're asking people to really dig deep and make their own interpretations, I'm not going to expect everyone to have reached kind of this goal line and had this kind of epiphany that I had. I think because we started with paired discussions and they were able to talk about the details, they were able to talk about the outsider's perspectives together before sharing that they'd already, they'd already done some deep thinking. 
and they'd already reached sort of a certain point. When we came back together and shared, I mean, it, with teaching culture, I don't think there's one direct, clear, yes, no answer. Um, I mean, we talk about some of the metaphors, but I've gotten a little information here, a little information here, and a little information here, and some from here, and together that makes the answer. So as a classroom, as a classroom, I could assess, okay, we've, we've, everyone in the room has jumped up a little bit. Maybe we are not all open-minded world citizens now, but I think <laughs> we've started the conversation. And this is something that would need to happen in class, you know, kind of consistently for there to be real, real progress. I mean, as a, as a language lesson, I saw lots of great language output. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you were doing lots of things all at the same time with that yeah, lesson. Yeah. Well, great, Andy. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you. See you later.